Hi, beauties. What's up? I'm Courtney Kaysen. Happy Monday. It's good to see you here on our Facebook page. As a lot of you know, we are the world's first and only 24-hour dedicated beauty channel. And I love that you're here hanging out on our Facebook page because when you're not watching us live on air Monday through Friday from 8 to midnight Eastern, we like to play around and we're starting a new series today. So if you're just stumbling on our page for the first time, welcome in, like our page, subscribe to our page, and you'll be notified every time we do something fun like like this. This is Makeup Monday, and to kick off our brand new series, we wanted to do something a little fun, keep it light, and keep it in theme with what's going on this month. So we're going to do our first ever Makeup Monday tutorial for do-it-yourself Halloween. Now, I heard some news a couple of weeks ago that I was going to be working on one of my favorite holidays, and to be honest with you, it was like, what? Halloween! Are we dressing up? And the answer is yes. Stay tuned for a big show October 20th. We're doing it a couple days earlier just so you can get some ideas. But if you're somebody that maybe has a lot of Halloween parties to go to or if you love Halloween yourself, we wanted to throw together a look that's been trending on Instagram, on Pinterest as well. And the good news is you probably don't have to go out and buy anything. You can use eyeshadows and eyeliners and powders that you already have at home. So today's look all about a mermaid and my girlfriends at Tarte, Lee and Deanna hooked it up today. We've got some brand new palettes that we're going to show you with that also participate in obviously big trends that we're seeing out in the world of beauty such as metallic eyes. So we're going to get started and the only thing that I have on my face since it was sunny outside is a little of the Tarte uh, BB cream and so now what I'm going to do is actually put on some shape tape which happens to be some of my favorite concealer around. I don't care where you put this, it stays put, it doesn't crease, it doesn't crack, and it, even when you choose it towards your true skin tone, because some of us, we play around, we go one shade lighter with our concealer, it kind of has this lit within property. So if you've got dark areas on your complexion or there's like a spot you need to cover up, this is your Mecca. So I'm gonna start by just applying the way that I normally would is just in a triangle underneath my eyes. And by the way, light medium on my concealer. So I'm going one shade lighter. I'm gonna take their concealer brush, which I happen to think is one of the best brushes I've ever experienced. It blends like a dream. And I can kind of just pat it in. And by the way, if you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, we're real-timing this. So we're not making this an Instagram tutorial where we're doing like a full face in under a minute. We'll have that after this is done. But ask questions along the way. Um, if you want to let us know what you're going as for Halloween, that could be fun too. All right. Let me just do a little blend. All right, so that should be good. So you can kind of see the lightness around my eyes. Next up, we did the Confidence uh, Creamy Powder Foundation. And the reason that I chose to go with a creamy powder foundation is because since we're doing metallics, which I'll show you that eyeshadow palette in just a second, I wanted more of a mattified complexion. That way, when I draw my scales, which that's gonna be pretty crazy to talk about, uh, you'd get more of a pop. So I would recommend going with like a more mattified foundation if you're gonna do this. By the way, it's so weird looking in the mirror and talking to yourself. It's my first time, it's weird. Alright, so doing a little blending. By the way, in the uh, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation, I'm wearing Medium Honey. Alright, and don't forget to blend into your neck, because I don't know about all of you, but I can definitely be one color on my complexion and one color on the rest of my body. Basically, I like to be super tan here and probably really pale everywhere else since winter is coming. 
a little Game of Thrones reference for all of you guys out there. All right, so you've got your base, which is super simple. And remember, you're using what you have at home to create this look. Now, I'm going to grab two palettes for this next piece. So this is the Rainforest of the Sea Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is all brand new metallic eyeshadows. And when I saw this on the Beauty IQ and QVC Instagram, I was like... I don't care what I do with this, but I have to have that in my life. It's got such a beautiful array of colors. It's one of those that's going to go so well with maybe your fall and dark dual tones. But for mermaids, we're going to be able to have a lot of fun in this. So step one is I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair back because you will see in just a minute. It's about to get a little weird. Brought some tights and basically I have to put it over my face. So stay tuned probably going to be really funny to look at. All right, so I'm going to start with one of the blending foundation brushes from Tarte. So I'm basically going to stick that in some water. And you kind of just want the bristles to be a little bit tacky. You don't want it to be overly wet. And what I'm going to do is there's a color called Wings, which is kind of this beautiful rosy gold bronzy shade. And I'm going to start blending into my complexion the way that I would contour. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to start building just at my hairline. And you may have to add more water along the way, which I'm going to have to do. But the idea of when you do this wet is just so that it gets a little more bronzy and a little more pigmented. And feel free, like that's the great thing about Tarte's eyeshadows is you can be a mermaid by day or you can be a mermaid at night, like the look that I'm creating. And they're all totally buildable. And so the reason I'm kind of starting off with this bronzy color is so that it blends in nicely to my hairline. And that way the blue, the purple, and the green isn't so stark against my pseudo red, tinge of ginge, maybe she's brunette or she isn't hair right now. Cause I gotta be honest with you, not really sure what color I'm rocking. All right, so you can kind of see I found my cheekbone. And actually, just to give you kind of like an update, I'm mixing in Wings and Magic together. And especially if you're doing this with your shadows wet, you want to make sure that if you're building color, like if you want it to be a little bit darker, give it a second to dry. So whether that's going like this, checking your text messages, feel free to do any of that. Are we allowed to zoom in on this? Yes, no maybe? Yes. yes, okay, here, I'll show you. If you guys wanna cut, oh, you're zooming already? Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, <laughs> so if you're wondering if we were live, the answer is yes, but this is what makes it more fun than say a regular tutorials because it's live and you get kind of the idea of how long it's gonna take. I just wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. And another reason that I started off with this kind of bronzy rosy shade is it's gonna blend a little bit better, easier into your own skin tone. So I'm just basically doing the forehead and cheeks, but for a mermaid look, you could still do your chin if you wanted to, um, anything that you want. I just kind of think I wanna wear it almost as a mask. So I'm gonna do one more layer. Just kind of fill this in. Okay. All right. So the next part of this is letting it dry. Are you guys laughing at this? <laughs> Gotta let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. All right, I think we're good. All right, so the next part of this is where it gets a little weird and where you may want to do it by yourself in the comfort of your ho own home. And like when your friends and family be like, oh my God, you're the most amazing mermaid I've ever seen. How did you do it? Don't even tell them. Like it's not worth talking about because it's either going to get like real weird on aisle five where the lemon and avocados are. This is what you'll use. 
Or if you're like me and you happen to have fishnet tights, this is probably your best option. You will look like an old school robber from a 1950s movie trying to not get caught, but I promise you the results are worth it because you're gonna be able to create really multi-dimensional scales. And that to me is what I think is so impressive because we're not all makeup artists and this basically gives you a lot of street cred. So I'm gonna pin my hair back one more time because it's absolutely important that you don't have kind of any stray hairs along your complexion because if you do you might have a hairline on your eyeshadow okay so pin back so this is where it gets super classy and you know what if you're not having that great of a day this is where we keep it really light so i will say i have a big head like not metaphorically like I think it's, I don't know, I had to have a special like cap and gown ordered for me. I will say like standard women's tights fit fine over my head. So just, just, just as an FYI, this is how you'll put it on. So a little weird, but here you go. So pull out a little bit. I know it's so ridiculous. And I have to like keep this on for like 10 minutes if you want to get really detailed. So we'll tell you, it's totally weird when you're tired. When your tights hit your eyelashes, but I promise this will be so worth it. All right, so next up we're gonna take, I know guys, it's ridiculous. Don't wait till you see how good it looks. All right, so I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna start stippling in blue right underneath where I did the rosy shadow. See, I told you this was gonna be golden. And actually, I'm gonna do this side with the blue. Right. And basically, you're gonna kinda go in small circular motions so that it's blended underneath. And by the way, the two colors that I'm using, Dream and Mystic. And just as a point of reference, where I drew my contour line against this, I'm not taking the blue beneath that because I'm gonna wanna blend that out later on and I'm basically gonna want the color fade to look as natural as possible. And the good news is none of this has to be perfect. And so if you feel like your scales are a little too strong or a little too light, you can always take this off and put it back on or you can blend it out with a powder brush and just uh, kind of minimalize the appearance of your scales. All right, so next up, I'm gonna take the purple color that you see right there. This is called Fairy. Make a beautiful Kathy, I really appreciate that while this is over my face. I appreciate you seeing the vision and I appreciate you hanging out with me during this. And Evelyn says, wow, what a brave soul you are. I don't think I could do what you were doing in front of a camera like this. Evelyn, what you just said about being a brave soul doing it in front of the camera, I've thought about it continuously as I'm talking to you. Like, am I probably going to regret this later? And the answer is probably yeah. Like, I'm probably going to have somebody from high school that I haven't talked to in 15 years be like, OMG, saw you on Facebook. She also wants to know if you wash your tights after this. Of course I wash my tights after this. <laughs> I can tell you, with all the colors that I'm using, I probably have to throw away my tights. I know. This is just ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to draw a little more of a purple triangle kind of going right in the center of my brows, just to kind of blend this out. You know, I'm gonna use a Clark Griswold quote and say, I hope this adds to your holiday enjoyment. But I'm talking about Halloween, not Christmas. All right. I will say, 
if you are somewhere where you have good light, probably because you can kind of see the texture that I'm creating right now and the color, I would do this. I have to pull this out. My eyelashes are driving me nuts. I would do this in the most natural light setting that you have possible because you'll want to see if you need to darken it, if you want to lighten it. And I can see it through my fishnet, so I'm thinking that's a good thing. Obviously, we'll see because I might have to blend it out, but you guys will let me know. And I appreciate you tuning in. This is our first ever series, Makeup Monday. It's do-it-yourself Halloween. And honestly, like, that's what I love about makeup. You can be any size you want to be, and you can all wear makeup. You can use what you already have to participate in trends. And it's always ever-changing, and it's so specific. So it's really, really, really fun. Um, okay, so next color I'm going to use, this will be my green taupe silvery shade. This is Marvel. Sue says you're even pretty looking like this. Sue, God bless you. Please tell my husband that later when he's sending me like text messages being like, what did you do at work today? Be like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it got a little weird. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have questions like, like Sue and everybody else, like I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Feel free to ask him because we're live and we plan to be every Monday around four-ish. I'm not super on time, but I'm like pretty on time. So it's around four. And you don't get off work till five anyway, so an added bonus. All right, so now I'm taking this marble and I'm kind of going underneath the triangle that I created with the purple and then I'm kind of circling around the brows and then just the side of my cheeks. So it's almost working as a little bit of highlighter, but I'm going to highlight that momentarily. And then I'm just going to blend around here since this is like a lighter color. I'm just going to stipple that in. Roxy says, I never thought I would hear you say, see it through my fishnets. <laughs> How do you look at it? I see it through my fishnets. Ah, that's amazing. You guys all have such a great sense of humor. And, you know, I'm so glad that we get to do this because we will post something on Instagram that's kind of like... A minute worthy of all this but you need to know how long it's gonna take you in real life if you're gonna do it and the good news is you've got a great palette from Tarte that you can wear for mermaid looks every single day and trust me some of them are really neutral you get mermaid how-to's uh, in the collection and they're really pretty awesome all right so I'm just kind of stippling down to my chin All right, and so the last piece of this is I'm gonna take the Rainforest of the Sea palette, which has four awesome highlighters in it, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wet my brush, but where I put the shape tape, I'm actually just gonna highlight underneath my eyes like I normally would, so I can still be true to life mermaid. So I'm gonna go for the Daylight, which is the color that you see right here. a little close on here and I'm just gonna stipple underneath there kind of around the brow bone and by the way I'm gonna be adding eyeshadow to this look as well just to give you a for instance And if for some reason when you do this, you kind of feel like your highlighter, because it's a little tricky area with like the concaveness area, that's even a word, just kind of like verbed it, but you kind of get it. Like just because it sinks in a little bit there, you can always go back and touch it up. All right. And then I'm gonna do little scales up the bridge of my nose, just for a little fun. and then blend that in to where I took the marble. All right, so are you guys ready? Here we go, one, two, three. Oh, suck it, suck it. Look at that, okay, so can you guys tell like how the purple fades into the blue, 
fades into that beautiful kind of rust color that's a little magic and wings mixed in together. That way you can still kind of have your makeup but make it a little more special. And do you see, I don't know if we can zoom in or not, but you can kind of tell just the preciseness of the fishnets. So while you do in fact look like a total idiot, for lack of a better word, while you're wearing this, you get almost movie-like dimension that's pretty impressive. And you can see kind of like the purple and the green, the way that it blends out. Really pretty good stuff. And if you see areas where you're like, maybe I want a little more purple, like I think I want just like a touch right there, grab your brush and just lightly blend it back in. Because here's the thing, like you can practice this. It's pretty fun. That's the great thing about face wash. Or you can just try it out, because really there's like no fail in using it with your fishnet tights. Ooh. All right, so we're moving on. And now we're gonna be doing eyeshadow, and we're gonna be doing an eyebrow and a lip, all with eyeshadow. Because here's the thing, like now that I've created this like blue, pink, purpley mermaid thing, you probably are thinking, well, what kind of lip would I wear? What kind of eyeshadow would I use? So I'm gonna start with the eyes. And basically, this is the Rainforest of the Sea. It's their third volume uh, palette that you're gonna see, and this is where you're gonna get the day-to-day -day mermaid look. It's like completely ethereal, but it's beautiful neutrals, and they really stand out so well. So I'm gonna start building with this. And I'm gonna start with a transition color. And I'm gonna go probably with the jewel. So that's this color right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease. And basically I'm using this as my point so that I can blend out everything else. All right, next up, and by the way, I think Jewel is what starts your transition for the day-to-day -day makeup color. And then for my crease, I'm gonna use Malibu. And I'm just gonna do that on the outside corners. And because I want my scales to be the focus, I'm not gonna do a crazy bold eye in terms of eyeshadow. So it's gonna be very like rosy, very bronzy, but very light, just so you can see the definition on my forehead right here. And for the kind of inner area, I'm gonna go for escape, just to kind of lighten that up. So I'm gonna make my crease just a smidge darker. Here. 
And by the way, if you're just tuning in, Makeup Monday. I'm Courtney Kaysen. I hope to be here with you every single Monday as we kind of talk about the trends of the world of beauty before I go on air starting at 8 p.m. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask because obviously I will answer anything. Just put fishnets all over my face. Courtney, do you know what you're being for Halloween or is it a big secret? Well, it's kind of a secret. So I found, so I'll give you guys a heads up. We have a big Halloween show coming up on Beauty IQ starting October 20th. And so I was like, wait, why are we not doing it on the 31st? Like that's my favorite holiday. And we wanted to give you this Halloween show on the 20th so that if you needed to place an order for something special, cause we're gonna have lots of great stuff in the show. Or if you wanted to have time to practice before Halloween, that's why it's October 20th. I do have an idea for what I want to be for Halloween. And the only thing that I will give away is I think it's going to be, um, actually I almost gave it away. I think it's going to be a lot of feathers. So I love feathers and not just for like Halloween. Like I have sweaters with feathers on the bottom of it. Big fan of Millie. Um, I have skirts with feathers on them. So I'm just going to take my inspiration from mother nature and go from there and hope that it works out. Okay, so then the last piece of this, I'm gonna grab Treasure, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna put that right at the top of my brow bone, just about halfway over. Because if you'll remember, I took the Rainforest of the, pe uh, the, Rainforest of the Sea pa palette and I drew my scales kind of along my eyebrows. So I don't wanna mess that up. I don't know if you guys can kind of see where I'm blending to. But just right there is solid color and then you can see the scales all right so what I'm gonna do next is a little weird I'm actually gonna fill in my eyebrows but I'm gonna make them purple and kind of stand out a little bit just to take it one step further so I'm gonna mix two colors because I did this at home this weekend I'm gonna mix the Fairy, which is also what I used on my face, because it's got a lot of great metallic in it. But then I am also, let me just put this right here, gonna use the 20th Celebration of Laura Geller, and I'm gonna use the Royal and Lavender mixed in with that. So again, like we've used blues, purples, taupes, silvers, definitely mix and match the colors that you have at home to do this. And the other reason why I'm doing purple is it doesn't stand out too much, but it kind of blends everything in. I have brown hair, so I would say if you have blonde hair, obviously maybe that might be a little bit too dark, but this is why I'm using the purple, so that it kind of blends in my natural hair. Fans are asking if you're wetting your brush before you're putting it on. Oh, I did. Yes, I did wash my brush. Thank you. This is like the first time I've done this, so please ask questions because sometimes I'll just forget to tell you. <laughs> but we're taking great notes so that when this goes into a blog and this goes into our Instagram, you'll know exactly how to use it. And by the way, if you get too much on your brush, just like dap it on a, ma a makeup wipe. And by the way, because I'm not really using an eyebrow brush, you might get a little bit of an uneven brow. So I'm just gonna clean that up right there. I'm gonna put back my treasure, which is right here. And that's a good thing about if you make a mistake. I'm gonna just patch it right back up. I'm gonna take, what color is this? Peridot green. I'm gonna line the inner rim of my eye. 
lower lid. And this is from Tarte, by the way. Love their liners, especially in the waterline. They stay put all day. And then to make it pop even more, I'm gonna tight line underneath my lashes. All right, and the good news is you can stop there or you can go for something a little more dramatic. So I'm gonna take the bronze right here and I'm gonna do just a little bit of a winged liner. And I love a bold wing. And if you've never, I'm gonna just tie that in right there. If you've never done a wing or you feel like, oh, I can't get my lines straight, the easiest way to do it, and I know it sounds a little weird, is take a piece of scotch tape or literally a piece of paper, hold it taut against your skin, and draw the line that way. It'll be that perfect check, that perfect wing, and kind of give you the more confidence so that as your hand gets a little more steady, you figure out if you like a thinner or a bolder line, you kind of get a little good in practice. And I think I just realized I forgot mascara, but I almost don't think you need it. It's kind of to each his own, because you've got brows, you've got scales, you've got eyeshadow. I did winged liner, which you can see right here. My last piece of it is gonna be my lipstick. So, by the way, how long has this been? I feel like it's flown by. It's not an hour, is it? Half an hour. Oh, half an hour, great. So it's half an hour, half an hour. So I put, lip balm on my lips beforehand, which is what you'll want to do, especially if you want to do a crazy color. So what I'm going to do is grab the Mystic again from the Tarte Metallic Eye Palette, which is right there. I'm going to line the bottom of my lips. And when you put the balm on, like in case you want to do this like fun eyeshadow, I feel like it just creates this like second skin barrier that makes your lips smooth. It also gives the eyeshadow something to attach itself to. So Samantha wants to know how well does the eyeshadow lipstick, how long does the eyeshadow lipstick last and do you reapply it often? Samantha, these are great questions. Um, I will say this, I do think eyeshadow lipstick lasts a little bit longer than you would expect it to because there are truly no moisturizing properties to it. So as long as you're not eating or drinking, I have found in my experience that it stays pretty darn well with just like a little bit of, you know, chapstick, lip balm, anything that you have from the grocery store. I will say at some point you do have to reapply, but I'm a person that I don't care if it is long wearing lipstick, I have to apply my lipstick every single hour. So I think that you'll be impressed with how long it's gonna last. I don't see this being gone in 30 minutes and you being disappointed. So, and you may find that like, especially because you have this palette, you know, you can pop this in your clutch, you can pop this in your purse, and I mean, all you need is a little bit of water to get started. So I still had my damp brush, and you can see that it's pretty pigmented. 
So next up, I'm going to take just a little bit of the Mystic and kind of ombre this out a little bit. So there's the Mystic. And I just really, by doing this, want to create more dimension and have a little more fun in color. Dawn's asking if you use a, spreading, a setting spray when you're done. Ooh, I haven't, but that's a great idea. Dawn on Facebook says you should use a setting spray. I mean, it can't hurt it. And the other thing is, like, you know, the question is, like, how do you wear powder? I would say if you're somebody where powder disappears on your skin pretty often, use a primer. Absolutely. Um, there's great primers on the market. Laura Geller's got one. Tarte's got one. But Tarte also has an amazing setting powder as well. So I don't think it would hurt to use both. And I think that when you're talking about beauty of that caliber, I always notice even though more is more, it doesn't look like it on your complexion. All right. And then the last one. I'm going to use is from this rainbow spellbound glow collection basically it reminds me of an awesome unicorn so I'm going to use the pink shade and just feather that over my lips okay so there you have it. Let me add just a little bit more purple. All right, so here is our mermaid tutorial, which I forgot to add mascara, but Honestly, I think between the scales, between kind of the smokiness that I did with the eyeshadow, the winged liner, obviously the blue, purple, pink ombre lips, maybe you don't need it, but to each his own, you could also do really fun like pink or electric blue lashes. So I'll let you take a look. Here is our do-it-yourself mermaid makeup on Beauty IQ. And then here's the other side. So all in all, it took about 30 minutes. Uh, and here's the great thing, like you can be between sizes, you could wear a black sweater with this and kind of show up and have a little bit of fun. But at the end of the night, you don't feel like you wasted a ton of money on a costume that you only got to wear once. Or, you know, if Halloween's not really your thing, but you want to have a little fun, this is all pieces that you can pick up on beautyiq.com or discover for the first time thanks to our girlfriends at Tarte who have an amazing collection. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here on our uh, Makeup Monday. But the good news is we'll be back next week around the same time around 4 p.m. Eastern where we will be discussing metallic eyes. Have a good week, beauties.